Good morning, HHS. Today is Monday, February 25th. Coming up on today's show, we have Babysitting and Black History Month. Join the HHS program for the pre-assessment concert at 7 p.m. in the HHS Auditorium tomorrow. Tuesday, February 26th. The concert will feature the HHS Symphonic and Concert Bands, as well as the THMS and SKMS 8th grade bands. Babysitting is something that many students here do to earn money. Maribel Torado has the story. I don't know that babysitting can be fun, but difficult at the same time. In my honest opinion, I hate babysitting because I would like a relaxed day over taking care of screaming, crying children. So I babysit my six-year-old sister and my two-year-old sister. When giving them sugar, you could expect them to jump all around the walls and start screaming because they want more. Say cookie! Say cookie! Cookie! Say cookie! Say in your mama! <laughs> it can be fun if the kids act right, but if the kids are just crying the whole entire time, then it's horrible because I'm 17, so I don't like that it feels like I have kids. When babysitting them, they, um, they fight a lot and they argue, and they jump around, can't sit still, and they're always hungry. I babysit like every, every other weekend. Well, my siblings are mediocre. They'll act good sometimes and bad other times because I'm their older sister. I like babysitting because I like working with children. Come, Lily, I gotta do your hair. Come on, Lily! You destroyed the whole base? No. Actually, it's kind of flat up. Future business leaders of America will be meeting in room 452 on February 26th at 2.45. There will be a brief meeting to elect officers and decide the direction of the club. Anybody enrolled in business class is eligible and encouraged to attend. Please see Coach Dillinger if you have any questions. The, the Interpreters interpret Club will hold two trainings on how to interpret for parent-teacher conference day. If you are a junior or senior and would like to help your community by interpreting, this is your chance to do so. Come to the library on February 28th at 3 o'clock until 4.30 and get trained. See Ms. Blake for further questions in room 276. Black History Month is this month and Susie Martinez has the story. Much any holidays that celebrate the culture or any cultures should be celebrated year long because those cultures have been through so much and America is made up by those cultures. So just like America says the Pledge of Allegiance every day, I think those cultures should be celebrated every day. Um, in recent years, I would say LeBron James has really been a good example of what a good leader in the black community is supposed to do. LeBron James amassed his wealth in the NBA, working out, going, working hard at his craft, and he's giving back to his community, and he's giving children who wouldn't receive an opportunity at education. I am very big on education. I think it's really, really important as a child of two educators um, and a family of educators. Like I think education is just really important to me. So um, if my legacy could be something involving education, making some big change in education, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. The narrative that they get may or may not be the full truth and that they need to know their history, they need to know their people, they need to know their culture. And that comes by having a dialogue, not only in your family, but being black means to me, um, being proud, like uh, hashtag black girl magic, like that. But, but in addition to that, it also means to be embraced for my accomplishments. Being black is beautiful. It has taught me to understand people and not judge them because I know on a daily basis I am judged from my outside appearance. So being the person that is being judged always has taught me to not judge. Make sure to follow HHS Media on all social media platforms. That's all we have for you today, Blue Streaks. I'm Genesis Martinez. And I'm Josh Lichty. Stay classy, HHS.